Welcome everybody to Invictus Software. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how Invictus Software, Invictus Desk, links into Landis Management Suite. It's a very simple and very easy uh, integration that we've uh, put forward to, to everybody. And the key idea here is how easy and flexible the two modules link side by side. So let's go over to our Invicta desk. Here I am at the Invicta desk itself. And as you can see, the first glance that you see is you got uh, reports on the left hand side here. You got Tag Cloud. And for those of you who don't know what Tag Cloud is, it's basically an easy way of showing um, uh, categorized information which comes up on a regular basis. For example, if you have more than uh, X amount of um, uh, software course which come in, it automatically makes it go higher and lower. And this can be done over a 20 or 30 day period, which shows you uh, the information which is coming backwards and forwards. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go along and go to the end users machine to show you how easy the integrations are within the two products itself. So let's go across, as you can see, this is our management suite console, which is open. And the next one here is my end users desk. I'm logged in here as what we, who we call it, Stephen Day. And Stephen Day is logged on to what we call the service portal. I've got two types of uh, calls which I can be logging in. One is a, an incident and second one is a service request. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna log a service request call uh, just to show you how easy it is to request a piece of uh, software. And that software can be automatically be deployed to the end user's machine. Uh, using uh, Landis Management Suite. And here I am, um, I've got the information which is required for Stephen Day. All the information is coming back from Active Directory. On the left hand side here, I can go along and pick up the relevant um, type of information required. I require a piece of software. And because this is a template, majority of the information is already filled in for me. All I require is to put the necessary details in there. For example, I need um, this required V player v player uh, and the reason why I can't see to play clip so i'm just giving a brief uh, description on what's actually happening and i can go along and uh, create this call so what's happening in the background is it automatically logs a call it sends an email back to the end user to say the call's been generated as you can see on the right hand side an email has been generated it's call number 1939 has come back to me and also it's updated the uh, Invicta desk itself uh, to say the call's uh, been generated for uh, this piece of um, software and here's here's my call details and this is a template as well so you can actually change and update uh, this information if you feel free to do that as you can see on the left hand side here, I haven't got any software which is associated to that player. So it will show you how easy and flexible the, the two integrations are. So now I'm going to go back to our desk. There we are, back to the desk itself. And we can start talking about uh, how things are, are within the desk itself. Now, key things from uh, within any desk itself, it's got a number of reports that you can start uh, looking at the reports, top 10 callers, resolve calls by groups, by departments, uh, breach calls, all the necessary reports that you wish uh, that you need uh, for a particular software itself. As you can see here, I can go along and, and add a new incident, to create a new uh, uh, service request. Uh, and so forth. But the key thing here is each one of these reports, you can actually move these tags. And when people say to us, well, it looks a bit, um, you know, congestive here, I can actually highlight this and move this across to any uh, location if I feel free to do that. But for our today's demonstration here is to show you how easy it is. So here, here I am, uh, Stephen Day, as the uh, end user. And being the support analyst, I can click on uh, Stephen Day. I can see that uh, the calls was um, well the request was uh, generated i can see the customer details which are associated uh, to to the individual click on here pick up the machine type itself now key things I actually want to go on before i go further is firstly is stephen day i can actually go along and view all my core histories on stephen day and we'll do that in a little while and also i can actually go along and see all the history information on the machine type as well 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to show you two integrations that we've done. Is the first one is these two little icons. The one on the left, if I click on this, that takes me into Landesk Management Suite integration. So in other words, all my information is coming back from Landesk Management Suite. So the inventory information, the process information, and also down down to software information. Now. Looking at the software information, I can go along and see all the software which is uh, associated to uh, Windows 81. What I want to do is I'm just going to go, go, go down to packages and go down to my package list and pick up the relevant package I need to deploy to the end user's machine. So here's my package uh, 86. Go back here and choose the method I wish to deploy. So in other words, the method is uh, down to standard push for, for, for this scenario. Click away and deploy this software. Now, as I deploy this software, what's going to happen in the background is two folds. The first thing is it automatically updates my record to say it's the software itself. So uh, Landers schedule task uh, is being, being pushed. So this is the task ID number 3113. And also it's telling me that the software is being pushed out to the end user's machine using our schedule task using Landers management suite. Now the key thing from Landers management suite is that it, it, the packages that are already being created, it sends a task to them, which then sends a command to the end user's machine. Now I can actually go start going further itself. Now one thing I also can do is go along and remote control the end user's machine directly from um, our Invicta desk. So by clicking on this, this takes me into our remote console itself, which allows me to remote control the end user's machine. Now obviously, I've got the authentication of uh, to do that, and obviously I've got the um, the uh, the roles to do to do that. So I'm remote controlling the end users machine here, and whatever I've got settings within uh, the management suite, those settings will kick into action here. I now actually uh, carry on with my task itself, carry on uh, logging further calls into the into the desk itself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to my management suite just to show you what's happening in the background of management suite. If I come across here to my management suite, and if I just go down to my task, uh, or my task here, as you can see here from my task itself, it's waiting to be deployed to the end user's machine itself. So the, the task came from the Invicta desk, shot across to management suite waiting for management suite whatever whenever the task schedule is for within management suite whether it's uh, five minutes or ten minutes that will automatically now be deployed to the end users machine one of the key things that we found with uh, with the the software within management suite and uh, invicta desk is how easy and flexible we found that um, having from within the desk itself, having the key fundamentals, for example, inventory software, and then deploying software to the end user's machine and making sure that the call's been updated and closed. But also from within the desk itself, we made sure that you can remote control the end user's machine. From within the management suite, what we've done is we've highlighted the machine here, but we've made a little connection within the desk itself. So here we are within the Invicta desk, and we can click on the Invicta desk here, which would allow us to go along and do a number of key things. The firstly is to create a new call. So as a second line support analyst using management suite, who doesn't want to go into the uh, Invicta desk, we can actually go along and just by clicking on this, to create a call for any particular software or hardware if we wish to go for, even down to look at the machines, how many calls we've actually got associated to the machine itself. So in other words, the device. And thirdly, we've got tickets by the owner itself. So by the by the user itself, how many tickets have actually come in? So these three things are, are key to any uh, solution which is gonna help you um, increase um, increase your, 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 your ability to make sure that the calls have been updated, closed, and also the understanding that how many calls were actually logged for a particular device and particular the user itself. So if I just come out of this and uh, and look oh, look what's exactly happening, it's, still, it's, it's telling me that the software has been deployed to the end user's mission, as you can see from here. If I click on here, that uh, it's, it was successful. If I go down to the end user's machine, 
And as you can see from here, the software is being deployed to the end user's machine and also the call is being closed. Thank you very much for this very simple uh, demonstration of, of the desk itself, uh, linking into the management suite.